What's up everyone, it's your boy Mikhail Casanova coming at you with yet another video. I know I've been gone for a minute, but you know, I had some medical issues with myself that's got me sidelined for like another month and a half maybe. But I figured why not go ahead and unbox this new iPhone I got today since my wife and I transitioned from AT&T to T-Mobile and since I didn't have my phone unlocked, I decided to get a new one. And here it is. This is the jet black model of the iPhone 7 Plus. 128 gig model because I didn't think I need 256 gigs. Um, I really like it. I could have gotten the product red one, um, but the fact that it had that white face and the red body, I would have wanted a red body with a black face. They didn't have that. So uh, instead of me wanting to get that, I got this one, which, you know, this is originally the one I wanted to get when iPhone 7 first dropped. So. In this video, I'll go ahead and be doing an unboxing on it and initial setup. I might jump skip, you know, a couple scenes and get straight into it. But other than that, yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon, uh, ding the little bell in the corner, that way you can stay up to date. Do you wanna dance? Welcome everyone to another unboxing video with Mikhail Casanova. And in this one, I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 7 Plus, the Jet Black Edition from T-Mobile, 128 gig. And yes, I know that the iPhone 7, the product red one was available, but that red with the white face is truthfully not my style. And for my personal device, I just love using an iPhone. I also have Android as well. But I just feel like, for me, iOS is where it's at for the seamless user experience. For me, that's my opinion. Now, I do have Android. I have a Google Pixel XL, 32 gig, and I also have coming on in the mail pretty soon the Galaxy S8 Plus. So, don't feel like I'm not giving any love to Android, because I am. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. So, first things out the way, look at this. I like the way. You can see, 120 gig. I just like this presentation. Apple always does an excellent job when it comes to presentation. There we go, let's go ahead and put that there. Alright, so we got the iPhone 7 Plus, the jet black one. You can see got some smears on it. I have actually taken it out. I haven't actually used it thus far, but yeah. Very sexy. Show you everything else that's in the box. So it's typical Apple power block. Got the ear pods with the adapter if you want to use a 3.5 millimeter headphone and the standard layout. So it's typical. The difference is, and compared to the 6S variants and all the ones prior to it, this uses the lightning input versus the standard. Okay, so, and I have yet another lightning cable which I already have like a billion already. Okay, and then you got the paperwork in here. So the things you get, how to guide, you know, Apple, iPhone user guide information, then you get your stickers. Usual affair. Nothing really special about this. Then, the moment y'all been waiting for, 
try and get behind this camera correctly. All right. So. This is definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet, but look at that. This is a very gorgeous slab of foam. Let's go ahead and do a jump cut. There we go. All set up. Now, 1080p display, which doesn't bother me, you know. I'm not really too bothered by the resolution of the screen. I know a lot of people are used to having, you know, 2K resolution screens with the Samsungs and the Pixels and whatnot, but I'm actually happy with the resolution that Apple gives because, you know, higher resolution usually affects the battery life of the device. You got your standard lightning port here, then the haptic feed button, as you guys know the standard Apple procedure, so if you want to drop the screen, double tap the home button, for each ability. Still got 3D touch. I'll just press and hold. Very snappy. Hey, it works. I love it. Definitely a hard edge, you can see. Definitely a fingerprint magnet. But that's why I'm definitely going to be using a case. Which I have one right here, actually. Just slap it in. Put the bumper on. And probably the last time I'm ever going to see the back of this phone. See which way we got that going this way. There we go. All right, that's my unboxing of it. My review. I say this is a cop. Now, if and here's the thing: if you like customization, Apple gives you customization ability, but doesn't give you the full gambit of what you could do on something like, say. Uh, Android device. So you do have widgets, but they're limited to the left corner screen, similar to how the Pixel layout is, but I feel like the Pixel's layout gives you more informative information for different applications versus Apple's layout. And you can access that in a couple ways, but yeah, it's what it is. I personally like it. You don't have to. If you prefer Android, you can. Like I said, I don't have anything against Android, but my preferred uh, operating system for a mobile platform right now is iOS. Um, as far as apps, yeah, you get more apps on here than you do on Android. Uh, quality is a different topic that you can hop into. But for me, personally, it works. I'm able to use different things for work. So, like you can see here, I got Yammer, Skype for Business, Citrus Receiver, got uh, Everbridge, Workflow, these are things I use for work. My phone is primarily a work device, in other words. So, there we go. And that just about wraps up this video review for the iPhone 7 Plus, the 128 gig model, jet black. And so far I'm loving it. I like the color. I really love it, even though I know it is uh, prone to scratches and fingerprints. So that, to me, is not really an issue. Almost everything I have gets fingerprints and scratches, so it is what it is. So long as it ain't broken, if it ain't broke, I ain't worried about it. But other than that, really love it. Um, 
Definitely loving the T-Mobile network so far. It has come a long way since the last time I personally had it, uh, which was, I believe, a year and a half ago. Uh, out here in Hawaii, typically T-Mobile's coverage isn't the greatest. Uh, it's always a step ahead or above Sprint, but usually never that great. But I'm very happy that the quality of the service, like if you see now, I've got four bars out of five. It's definitely come quite a ways out here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm super happy about that. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to enjoy this phone. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell in the corner, that way you'll be updated on all the latest videos I put out. And also, check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Any donation you want to make will definitely help the channel. Other than that, actually, one thing you could help with is soundproofing these walls because living on a busy street is god annoying. Anyway, so without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Deuce is wild. This is your boy Mikhail Casanova. I am signing out. Yeah. That's another noise that's annoying me, but hey, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Everybody drinks on me. Everybody in this bitch drink for free. Give me a whiskey double. A little bit of deck is always trouble. And I'm feeling good. Like a man with only to prove a reason's wood. Next up, straight to the DJ. Tell him play whatever song she said. Her body is a mystery.